Okay, I've got a 2016 Kia Soul here, and it's probably going to be the same from 14 through a 19, maybe even before that. Um, but I'm going to be showing the easiest way that I know to uh, do a drain fill on the transmission fluid here. So let me just show you some of the tools that we're going to be using. All right, so we've got uh, four quarts here of transmission fluid and uh, usually it's about 3.2 three and a half quarts on a typical drain fill got a 24 millimeter or a 15 16 it's a little 3 8 ratchet and this is a little pump you can get this in any parts store it's going to go into this quart bottle we're going to pump and uh, over here just got some drain pans and uh, just a gallon jug we're going to pour up see how much we're getting out of here Okay, first thing, we need to get the car level. So um, if you've got four ramps, it's ideal. Or you could use jack stands, whatever you can uh, come up with, blocks. But um, what I'm going to do here is just drive it up on my ramps. And now I will point out that the vehicle is a little bit low, and I had to... Uh, lift the vehicle just a little bit to get it on the ramp so i'm hoping it's gonna drive up on here i had to use the jack and a block of wood to get it lifted up so i can get the ramp in place here so we're going to go ahead and just drive it up on the ramps now okay i have determined that that's not going to work i'm going to have to do like i usually do i'm going to drive it up on the front ones and i'm just going to lift it up and put the ramps under the back okay so we've got the front on the ramp simple enough now what i'm going to do back here i'm just getting on this cross beam here you could get a jack on both sides if you like. We're going to lift it up enough and just get our ramps under here. And the good thing about it, you know, when you got it set on here like this, the car can't go anywhere. The front's on the ramps. We got it faced this way, so it can't go anywhere. Now, I would point out, to be cautious, I would probably get a jack on each side and try to lift at the pinch welds or somewhere just so you're lifting it equally that way instead of going from the center. Now I left out my 10 millimeter, um, didn't have it in hand, but you're gonna need a 10 millimeter to get this plastic piece under here loose. Okay, so here I'm just gonna give you a view of this plastic piece and we'll take it out of the way. You've got 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, got some up here. This just pulls off of there. That just pushes on a 10 millimeter. And then we got one down here. And you'll probably have some clips. Either it'll be those little Phillips head ones. You got to turn them and pull the clip out with your little uh, trim tool. Like this. And uh, other than that, you just got the uh, 10 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and just get this out of the way. Now it would have been a mite handy of them to give us an access panel for that drain plug. It was just right there, but they didn't want to do that. Said, I guess uh, those plastic covers are good for protecting things, but they're also good for hiding leaks and problems that you don't know about. So we got our 24. Go ahead and get this loose. Okay, and this shouldn't just be terribly tight. Now they say that you can't really tell by looking at this fluid how good or bad it is but I'm changing this one I don't know if it's low or what but we're gonna do a drain fill and I'll probably do another one in a couple oil changes because I just got this car so it doesn't look terribly uh, dirty 
so it doesn't look bad so I might actually get away with a drain fill um, you want to take the time to clean the end of this off obviously get all the particles and metal particles so never assume that the proper amount was ever in here if you don't know anything about the car could have been overfilled which is not good and it could be underfilled let's get that cleaned up okay so that's going to drizzle for a while let's go ahead and get on this just any ordinary 3 8 ratchet we're going to turn this doesn't take a lot to turn it just a little bit and it'll pop right off of here you basically turn it around till it stops it's got to stop there just ever how far that is it'll turn it'll only turn so far to the left you loosen it like you would any bolt or anything but it'll only turn so far this way it's got a plastic stop it's got a plastic stop over here on this side so you just want to turn it to that point all right now the beauty of this <clears throat> if you um if you have the little pump which they're cheap i think we're like five or six dollars you can get one of those because this is actually where you check the transmission fluid so the beauty of this if we pump it in here okay i guess that's the seal goes on that it came off so if you fill it here then we can also check it here now what we're going to do is we're going to start pumping it in here and get as much as we can now the thing about it is it's going to start draining out so we want to you know go kind of slowly we'll get a quart maybe two or whatever we get in here and then once it starts drizzling out we're going to stop and we're going to have to crank the vehicle up now keep in mind you're going to have probably another four quarts of transmission fluid in here so we're not in any danger and uh so we're going to once we get it coming out a little bit we're going to go ahead and crank the vehicle so we got it level we want to get it running and circulating and then we'll continue to pump in as much as we can until it starts coming out here so you know you see people taking uh the vent and everything loose from the top and you can do it that way but that vent likes to make a mess and you got to go really slowly and this way as long as you keep the tube in here you can pump it in you know pretty efficiently i said this uh, car only has forty thousand miles on it so uh, the fluid actually looks pretty good but you know if you start off keeping maintenance then you don't run into a lot of problems you know it's when things get neglected with the transmissions these days you know they got to be maintained and these fluids got to be changed um let's we're gonna just snug this up a little bit it doesn't have to be just terribly tight okay so you see what we poured up here and it's like just probably under three and a half quarts so like i said 3.2 3.5 is about what you're going to get in there okay so now we're going to take our pump and it's just it's got the extension and this will just thread right on to this bottle i'm going to keep me a pan under there just in case i have any spills and you know if it doesn't get every drop out of the bottom you can simply pour it into the other and uh get the rest of it that way or get a longer tube okay so i've got my pan down here in case i have any problems here with this we're going to slowly start adding it now the main thing here is just don't take your hand off the hose because if it falls out there it will make a mess And don't ask how I know. And uh, you can actually pump this in pretty fast. I'm, it's not trying to back up. So this is the first quart. We're just going to move on to the next. 
Okay, I've actually got three quarts in this thing and it pumps in there pretty quick with this pump. Um, so I know I only need another half of a quart. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up. It looks like it's just starting to drip. Now technically you wanna get it up to the operating temperature, but um, if you run it about 10, 15 minutes, you should have it plenty good and warm. Now, having said that, you know, I drained out under three, three and a half quarts, so I know if I put back that, that it's gonna be about right, because that is what they will hold. So, we should see it start trickling. I don't have it up to temperature just yet. Okay, we got some drippage going on here, so you can tell that it's seeping its way out. And we've put back in the exact amount. So it should be perfect. Okay, so nothing left to do but put our little cap back on, make sure that our seal is on there. Like I said, it's only going to turn so far. We just wipe it up where it was trickling a little bit. We know we got the perfect amount in here. See, the best thing about this, you don't have to remove anything up top. You put it in here. This is the only thing you have to remove beside your drain plug, and you check it here. Okay, so that's going to do it for the video. The only thing I've got is putting the little shroud or the pan, plastic pan that goes underneath. No big deal. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to wrap it up. Looks like I got a storm coming here. But uh, that's the easiest way that I know to do this transmission drain and fill. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I invite you to subscribe and thanks for watching.